There are all sorts of rumours about how classic chemistry demonstrations have been banned for being too dangerous. Most of the rumours are untrue. Here's a spectacular demonstration that you absolutely can show your students as long as you approach it correctly. You've probably guessed that I just poured water onto burning oil, recreating a chip pan fire, and that it produced quite an impressive fireball. This is a demonstration that can, and I think should be used to show just how dangerous some household chemicals can be, and to teach students about safety in the lab and at home. To do this experiment, you'll need three millilitres of corn oil. Now, if you look around on the internet, you'll probably see videos of this demonstration using much more oil. But the advice from Kleeps is to use three millilitres, which is more than enough to get the effect we're looking for. So I'm just going to measure that out using a pipette, and I'm going to add my corn oil to the crucible there. Now, the choice of crucible is really important. You want to find one with tall, straight sides because we don't want hot fat spitting everywhere. We're also using a nickel crucible because porcelain can crack under these conditions. And you need to make sure the crucible is well wedged into that clay triangle. You need to surround the apparatus with safety screens and ensure that students are set back a safe distance. Again, I've asked Kleeps about this and their advice is to use a four metre safety zone. You'll also need a test tube containing five millilitres of water attached to something a bit like this contraption. This is just a test tube holder taped to a metre stick. This means you can stand a safe distance away when you add the water to the crucible. Now you might think it's safe to do this demonstration inside a fume cupboard, but in actual fact the flames are too high. It's perfectly safe to do the demonstration on a normal lab bench as long as you've got a good few metres of head clearance and make sure you're not under any light fittings or ceiling decorations. When you're ready to do the demo, heat the oil for a few minutes until the vapour ignites. Once it's burning, switch off the Bunsen burner, then stand well back and use the metre rule to pour water onto the burning oil. There's obviously a lot going on here, but my understanding is that the water boils vigorously when it hits the hot oil, and this ejects droplets of oil from the crucible. That greatly increases the surface area of the oil, so it starts burning much faster. Now, I hope teachers would use this demonstration to talk about how this kind of situation can come about at home. It's not overly dramatic to introduce the demonstration by saying, this could save your life. 